Oh boy, the opponent has spin to swap for this fan fry. It's on the battle spot, so random battle running into an opponent with spin to swap could be crazy. Like, I loved the battle where it was like Kitty with Keys versus spin to swap, and it just became the most insane, closest clutches battle ever. Um, oh my goodness. Wait a second. Okay, I see an Alakazam in slacking. Is Alakazam going to skill swap? Because if so, bad thing. Alakazam used skill swap on the slacking. Why don't you try to snatch it from the Spinda? Because then contrary doesn't happen. Or like, there you could have played that in a crazy way. But now we got double skill swap on the field. Intimidate really taking down that slacking. But slacking doesn't have issues anymore. Going for that bulk up. Hmm. Um, I guess, actually, I guess you just let it happen, and then you still go for Alakazam to skill swap into the Arcanine? I don't know. Arcanine gets that close combat off. Going to start gaining stats. But Slacking tanks it like a boss, which is kind of crazy to think about. And it is a Mega Alakazam. I, again, I have no idea what could possibly happen at this point. So the Trace is going to grab Intimidate. Which is actually going to boost Arcanine's attack. Oh no, that is very not good. Now Arcanine's hitting really hard on that close combat. Gets the Shadow Ball down onto the Arcanine. Doesn't do really any damage. And oh no, the special defense boost has spin the skill swaps. The Intimidate into the opponent. Wait, I, what, what? Wait, whoa, 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 what, whoa. Hold up. I need to replay that turn, and I wish I could like go half speed. I I have no idea. Wow, and I after, as replaying this turn, it actually sent us back to like the beginning of the battle. But something really messed up just happened, and I was not able to keep track, cause mad like magic guard came in to trace the trace the trace the skill swap. I have no clue what I've never seen that before so going back in time quite a bit that's going to I and mean, also we we can kind of talk about how badly this goes like this shadow ball I've seen a lot of spin to swap in my day but I haven't seen like a shadow ball or any kind of regular move actually get a boost off that so shadow ball supposed to drop special offense ended up boosting it and then silliness happened so Alakazam okay Alakazam's trace became intimidate and then whatever happened happened <laughs> oh wait but that means yeah because that means slacking has like the magic guard or something and then it it got really weird okay so spin spin to just skill swap spin to intimidates slacking magic guard spin to magic guard slacking intimidate it, it just and then slacking intimidates okay that I don't sure there was too many things that just happened. Um, and then Slacking's attack goes up. Like, that that just looked a lot crazier than it needed to be. And then, that's a close combat. Slacking's still tanking it up really well after that bulk up. Arcanine's gaining defenses, though. And that is going to be a Leftovers on the Arcanine. So it's even tankier. Yeah, there's... I don't see how you can win this. So... That's going to be Alakazam, skill swapping the Arcanine, so now Alakazam gets the Intimidate, or no, Alakazam gets Contrary, Arcanine gets Intimidate, so that's going to cause the Intimidate to boost Alakazam, and then lower the Slacking, so that Slacking is like very, very weak, and then Spinda skill swapped, so now it has Contrary again, and the Magic Guard goes back into Alakazam, and... Sure, like stuff happens. Slacking goes for the slack off. So it gains a ton of health. And Arcanine gets the close combat. So I mean that's what you need to do, like turn one, so that way the Whoa! S wow, critical hit. Just absolutely destroying the slacking right there. And that's where you get the defense drop. So could have done that to reduce the tankiness. But now Spinda has contrary once again. So it get handed over to Arcanine if it really wants to. And now Lee Vanny comes in. So, like, how's Lee Vanny going to deal with this Arcanine or the Spin? The Spin hasn't even been touched. Like, normally we see a Spin to swap. Like, something's going to happen there. But Arcanine not taking any damage from the Shadow Ball. 
spend a skill swaps back into the Arcanine. I don't wow. It literally went like full circle. It just it just went all the way around the map. Spinda has Intimidate somehow again. Now Levani going to use that foul play, which actually does work onto the Arcanine. Barely surviving right there. Close combat into the Alakazam. Drops Alakazam below half. And then gains defenses. Not looking healthy after that one though. Like that foul play is doing some work because of all the Intimidate swapping going around. Alakazam gets the Dazzling Gleam. Arcanine is going to survive the Dazzling Gleam. Spin is going to skill swap, but it's going to fail for some... Oh, that explains a few things. Levani just used Night Days. That's a Zoroark. I was going to say, Le Levani doesn't get foul play. That would be a weird thing, maybe. But that's going to be the Morning Sun onto Arcanine. As health is restored. And so Spinna goes down, which means no more shenanigans there. But Arcanine's still holding on to that contrary. Alakazam could skill swap it away, but now it's uh, Zorark versus Arcanine and Suicune. And Alakazam's going to get the skill swap. So there's that. The opponent's playing this Arcanine completely wrong as well. Because, like, there needed to be an overheat at some point before, like, the contrary gets silly. And then Magic Guard is now onto the Arcanine, which doesn't really hurt too bad. So there's a foul play. Arcanine... Surviving it and now goes for the overheat this turn, but that was on the obvious like skill swap play So he's going to lose special attack has super duper amounts of defenses still hitting hard on that close combat from like The intimidate stuff and the illusion on Zorark Suicune going for that snarl snarl on the Suicune not enough damage to finish off Zorark or Alakazam But going to boost Alakazam's special attack because Alakazam grabbed the contrary which actually might make Alexam threatening at this point. And Suicune just does its own thing. So Alexam throwing out the Dazzling Gleam again. I don't think that's going to work on the Arcanine. No, Arcanine not going to take anything from that. Zorak with the Night Slash. Night Slash onto Suicune. Suicune tanks it up really well. Arcanine throws out the Overheat, but Zorak is going to avoid it. Why not close combat? Like, the defenses are still pretty good. And then the Snarl finishes off Zorak. And I think it missed on Alexam. Like, it didn't take a lot of damage. So Suicune with the Shell Bell. Say, I saw healing. I'm like, you can't leftovers. Double leftovers on the battle spot. So leftovers on Arcanine. Arcanine's coming through here really well. And there's the real Levani. So Al 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 Alakazam needs to finish off Arcanine. Levani needs to just dunk the Suicune. Like, Alakazam should not have been using Dazzling Gleam. Should have been Shadow Ball all the way. Levani Leaf Blade onto Suicune after Shadow Ball and Arcanine. Suicune going to go down. Arcanine's still barely alive, and weird stuff is happening. So Arcanine gets the overheat. Hmm. Overheating the Levani at minus two is still going to be enough to proc focus Sash. Wow, that Pokemon is frail. So there we go. Special attack's going to harshly drop right there. Leftover's going to heal up Arcanine. Arcanine's barely alive. So is Alakazam. So is everyone right now. And Blastoise comes in. So opponent's Blastoise... Going to be beefy, but how's the Levani going to deal with this? That's Shadow Ball onto Arcanine. Levani's Focus Ash proc, and it's going to be able to hit this Blastoise. So there's the Leaf Blade on the Blastoise, and the damage is go not going to be enough. Now, Blastoise has Citrus Berry, because there's no Megas, huh? And Blastoise going to Ice Beam, so Ice Beam onto Levani right there, going to finish it off. I mean, if Blastoise had something that could hit both opponents, I feel the Water Spout would have even handled it, That's at, even at that health. And then Alakazam gets a Shadow Ball. It's down to if Alakazam can finish off Blastoise from that much health, and it does! Wow, I think the battle's over out of nowhere. Okay, I did not expect any of that. So, I, I would like to think that also that was because of the Snarl contrary play from earlier, because Alexam was sitting on that boosted special effect or special attack for a while, and finally got to finish off the Blastoise because of it. That's one of the interesting things. Like it shows Alexam's solid, especially for like a fast skill swap Pokemon. I think it's really funny that this is like a slacking skill swap strategy, which is only going to be skill swap whenever you see a slacking and a psychic, psychic type Pokemon, versus all of this that just happened. And somehow Christopher came out on top with very little hit points. Like, it was close, and it was silly, and that was it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this wild battle. 
Too many abilities transferred around. Too many craziness. Great way to stop fan fries. I'll see you guys in the next one. So, yeah.